Alright, so you understand the basics of Wordle and you're ready to kick it up a notch. So this video is going to show you how to create Wordles from website content. Now before I show you how to do that, I want you to understand how Wordle analyzes word frequency. Uh, essentially what Wordle will do is it will look at the text that you're pasting in and the words that appear most frequently will be larger in the final Wordle. So let's look at an example. So in this one here, you can see the word the and the word bird appear most frequently. So when I go to create my Wordle with that text, the word the and the word bird should be the largest words. And you can see gets is very tiny there. So once you understand that, it makes word analysis uh, in your Wordles very, very interesting. So uh, again, let's look at an example so we can really understand that. So here's Robert Frost's famous poem, The Road Not Taken. And if I copy this text and then go over to Wordle and paste it in, Wordle will do an analysis on that and the words that appear most frequently in that poem uh, are the larger words. So very quickly and easily you can do a, a word analysis on that, which is really nice. It's also visually just a very nice poster to have hanging on your wall or, or using as a visual uh, as you're discussing this poem or you are launching off a, a poetry unit or something like that. So very, very cool. Let's look at some other examples. Uh, Martin Luther King's famous I Have a Dream speech. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I just found this. You just Google search uh, for, for the text version of poems or speeches. Um, so let's click on create. Let's paste in I have a dream and click go. Uh, and you can see dream is uh, uh, certainly used the most. Let's uh, randomize there. That's a little easier to read. Um, so that's a very interesting visual representation of uh, the I have a dream speech. Now one nice little trick here is if you go up to layout and you go down to maximum words, you can actually trim out the number of words that appear in the final wordle. Uh, and this is good if there's lots of little words and, and you want to focus on um, just a certain number of them. So let's change this from 150 to 35 and you can see how my wordle changes as a result of that. So make sure you use that um, maximum words option if you just think your wordle is a, a little too busy. Uh, and you want to focus on it and it'll just pull out the 35 most frequently used words. So that's a nice little tip. Um, here's a wordle of Dr. Seuss's Green Eggs and Ham uh, that uh, I didn't create but I found online and I thought visually it, it looked really nice and that Dr. Seuss would certainly approve. So certainly use Wordle just by copying and pasting text in and it's a really neat way to do word analysis as well as um, uh, use some very famous uh, examples in your classroom. Another way you can use Wordle with websites is if you noticed on the create page down here it says enter the web address of any blog or blog feed. So if you go to a website that has a feed on it uh, and you can see here I know that this Google news page has a feed on it because the feed icon is displaying there. All I have to do is copy and paste this web address into that location and it will create a Wordle based on the information uh, that's being, uh, the news information that's being uh, broadcast out at that moment in time. Now you can see this is a very busy one so this is a perfect example to trim my maximum words down from let's say 150 to 50 um, and we can see very quickly what top news words are being used. So Tiger Woods, obviously something happened, uh, Jeter, uh, Williams, right? So it's an interesting way to visualize the news. Google News can be very helpful because uh, they've got different categories. So you can just paste in the address of those different categories. Um, other blogs like Nancy Pelosi's Speaker of the House blog, you could also copy and paste that in to a Wordle. So lots of politicians have blogs that they use. And it's, an, again, a, a very interesting way to see what topics, um, what topics are being mentioned most on her blog. So health care, Americans, uh, Prime Minister Copenhagen. So this could be interesting to look at uh, in terms of a, a current events um, unit. Uh, 
popular authors like Neil Gaiman uh, also a lot of times will have blogs. And you can, uh, again, just paste in their web address to take a look at... Um, you know, what they're currently blogging about. Uh, and it can be a, a very interesting insight. One final thing that you can do with Wordle addresses, web addresses, is if a user is using Delicious, which is a, a very popular social bookmarking website, um, you can co copy their username and you can create a Wordle based on their Delicious tag. So you can see here all my crazy... Um, uh, delicious bookmarks. Uh, my username is right up here. It's bochi23. So if I go over to Wordle and I enter in my username and click submit, it will create a word cloud based on all of my delicious tags. So you can see, you can get a, a picture about what kinds of things I'm interested in. Now this is a bit cluttered, so this is a good place to use that maximum words thing. Cut that out to 500 do a layout of horizontal, make it a little easier to read, and you can see the kinds of things that, um, uh, the kinds of bookmarks I've got. So Google is in there, Mac, of course, is in there, web design, photography. Two minutes is kind of my to-do list. Um, clearly the largest of the bunch, um, and that's it. So there's a few more advanced things you can do with Wordle.